In this video, I'm gonna show you the Bloom Daily Planner's Ultimate Planner. I think you're really gonna like it. Hi, I'm Kristen, and I post functional planning videos on my channel. If you're like me, and you need a gentle reminder to just keep it simple, please make sure you're subscribed, and I'll be right back. Okay, so Bloom Daily Planners reached out to me and asked if I would like to review anything on their site. And I chose the Ultimate Planner because it looks just like my favorite layout. And so I really think you're gonna like it. I think right off the bat that this is a really great option. It's at a much lower price point than most of the planners you're gonna see out there. It has a lot more function than you're gonna find in the typical planners that you will find in like your big box store. So I think it's a really great, mix of the two. So if you're looking for something that's a little more robust than something that you might find at Walmart or Target, but you're not ready to invest in one of the more higher end luxury planners out there, this might be a really great option for you. So this is a Bloom Ultimate Planner and it is nine by 11. So it's a nice big size. It has an interchangeable cover, but not in the way that we're used to thinking where you would snap it on and off. It actually has a pocket up here. And so you can change out what the cover has on it. So we'll get to that in a second. This has a gold metal coil and the back is like this frosted plastic that kind of protects it a little more. So let's look at the cover options. It actually comes with three different covers. So this one says, let your light shine. And it has like this like geode kind of look and the little bloom logo down here real small. And you just simply pull it out. And then the back of it is just like more plain if you don't want this on there. And if you just wanted that, you could just flip it over and just stick it back in there like that. Maybe you could decorate it with your own stickers or anything you wanted. So that's really neat. And then we have this one, which is a really fun kind of whimsical flower, doodly flower kind of thing. And you do have that logo at the bottom there. Let's see what the other side. So the other side is just this plain one. So what you would do is I didn't do that for this one, but these corners are rounded on this side to match up. And so you could do it like that. So you could put it, it fits both ways, but if you wanted to match up with those corners, you would put it in that way so that the rounded corners match. And then on here, this one says, I am endlessly creating myself. And then you just pull that out and let's see what the back has. This is just a plain one. So you could put anything you wanted on there. Maybe you would, um, you could put some washi with your favorite photos or something. Um, the other option is that you can create any cover you want because this is like an eight and a half by 11 size. So you could just even get a piece of cardstock from the craft store or print out your own design. Um, maybe you have your favorite art print or something that you could grab from an Etsy shop. That would be a great option for this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just put this plain one in because I like it and it matches my colors. <laughs> I think that would be so much fun to uh, coordinate, to put like collect pictures on and just other little fun, like you could even do your vision board on here so that you can see like your word of the year and all of the things that are important to you so that all year you're not, you know, forgetting them. Okay, so let's open it up. And then of course on this side, it's clear. So this side is gonna show whatever is not showing here. So if you say you wanted this cover, maybe you would go ahead and go and put the plain one on the inside, you know, so that it's not, um, you know, showing like something upside down or whatever. But anyhow, do that however you want. You could have your decoration here and your vision board here. This would be another a really great spot to put like your kid's school schedule or something like that. And since it's eight and a half by 11, you don't even have to, you know, fuss with it. Okay, so here you have your name page. It says, how will you bloom? Create a mission statement for your ideal year. And then you have your spot for your word of the year. So I think this, we will get a chance to kind of figure out um, what this is for as we go on, but let's move through it and see. So we have a letter here and then, oh, and a section that talks about how to customize your cover. So um, it says you can find pre-made printable cover options on our website under the free printables tab. So that's really cool. So go to bloomplanners.com and you'll be able to find those. It just says it fits a eight and a half by 11 sheet of printer paper. So print your own cover page and slide it into the plastic sleeve. And then just to keep these um, thick ones in there behind it, just to keep it nice and sturdy. All right, and then we have an important date section here and there's eight lines for each month for the whole year. 
We have a purpose page. This is kind of cool. It says your purpose should make you feel proud, happy, and valued. When you realize your purpose, it's easier to set and reach goals. And so this is where you're just gonna put your passions, what the world needs, your learned skills, and your talents. And then where they all overlap, that is your purpose. And so you would just write that in there. This is for values. When, you're va when your goals are in line with your values, you're more likely to succeed. There's a little typo there, but that's okay. Um, circle and write some of your most important values and choose the most significant. How can your actions better align with these values? And so there's some common values here and a place to, a place to add your own. And then this says the year of, and then more and less. I like these. This is kind of like the, what I'm saying yes to, what I'm saying no to. This is an undated planner. So I guess this is a spot that you could, you could put the year here and all of the things that you want to, you want to do more of and all of the things you want to do less of. And then this says where you are now and where you are going. So this is like your standard, um, goal area categories, and you're just going to score them and you have health, personal development, relationships, finances, career, home, fun, and spiritual slash community. And then it has positive and negative aspects and then daily actions to improve in your scale from one to 10. Over here, you have things not to do. We often think in terms of to-do lists, but what about not to-do lists? What should you stop doing? Use the top section to brainstorm and the bottom section to make your final list. So we have other people's responsibilities, things you can't control, what's okay to be left undone, and things that drain me. I really love this because this is true. You don't normally think of you know, what shouldn't you do? And sometimes I catch myself spending a lot of time and energy on things that I don't need to be doing because either it's someone else's problem or it's just something that's not gonna serve me or not add any kind of value to my life or my family's life. So this is a cool place to kind of figure those out ahead of time so that later you can, it'll help you kind of remember that, hey, this isn't something I should be doing right now. <laughs> and then here you have your plan to bloom and this is where you're gonna add your top five goals for the year, things to look forward to, new things to try, books you would like to read, places to visit, things to improve on, and things to be grateful for, and then a spot for your visions, so you can kind of decorate this um, with stickers and different cutouts and doodles and all kinds of stuff there. That's really fun. Here we have like a tracker for monthly tasks. So there's a ton of space here for all of those things that you might need to do on a monthly basis. And then of course you have your January through December to check them off. Here's your monthly bill, bill payment tracker and let's go ahead and turn it this way. So you can see you have a spot for the bill, what day of the month it's due, and if it's auto pay or not, you would just circle yes or no. And then you have your check boxes for January through December. So once those are paid, you go ahead and check those off and make sure so then every month you come and just scan and say, okay, all these bills have been paid this month. And then I would go ahead and make sure you're writing it out in order of the day of where it falls in the month. Like you want your stuff that falls on like the first up here and the stuff that falls towards the end of the month down here. So it's easy to kind of scan and check things off as you go and things won't get lost in there. And then here we have your ideal week. What is it? What does what does that look like a perfectly balanced week look like? Looks like there's another little typo here, but we're just gonna move on. <laughs> Document recurring daily events here. So morning, evening, and weekends, and then you have each day of the week here. So that's kind of just like your, your typical schedule of things, and then you would kind of use that to schedule it in over here on your weekly schedule, and you have a spot to write in the times and then each day of the week, so you can kind of visualize what each day is gonna look like. Here we have my joy list. What brings you peace and happiness? What do you love about yourself? Refer back to this page when you need a boost. So joy, I love myself because, and I feel my best when, and then there's some little prompts here for that. Funding joy, what brings, find what brings you joy and identify the reasons why. Double down on the things, people, and places that bring you happiness. Cut time and effort with those that bring you down from being your best self. I like that too. Um, okay, so 
these are activities, places, people, and kill joys. I guess just general things. I said funding joy, that says finding joy. That's not a typo, that's just me. <laughs> okay, so monthly highlights, January through December. Mood tracker and a spot to kind of like color code and then you can just kind of fill in your moods. It's like a perpetual calendar there. Okay, so then you have your habit tracker. This is kind of like that standard one you see all over the place and it goes from the first to the 31st and then these are the different habits that you're tracking. And then this I think is for each month, yes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I guess you would write whatever month you're starting this planner in and then you're picking that one habit and you write it in here and then you just wanna see if you're doing that every day of the year. So you have that and then you have your start date and then your goal and then I'm not really sure what the one through 31 is here. Um, okay, I know what this is. Okay, so this is kind of like your overview and then here you just have your habits for each month. So you're gonna pick that one habit that you are focusing on and each month you, you write the habit in and when you're starting it, I would, I would think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not really sure how this works because you have 12 spots here. So maybe this is like your one big habit that you're working on. And then this, there's seven different like smaller habits that would go for only one month. So I guess it's just kind of open-ended to use it however you want. There's not enough here to use it for one for each month, like here. So I'm thinking this is like your main big habit that you wanna work on for the whole year. And then these are just some other ones that you wanna track a month at a time maybe. Here you have your monthly section. And so you have your tab and it's just attached to the page up here. So here's a spot to put some of your goals and I don't think they line up with the goals that are at the front. Let's see. You have these here. So, and then you have two blank spaces here, but you have personal growth, relationships, health and fitness, family and home, work and school, finances, fun and adventure, blank and blank. And then a spot for your budget. And then you go into your monthly spread and you have some dot grid at the top, a sidebar over here for notes, and then you have a Sunday start and the weekends are grayed out. So while this is an undated planner, it does start in January and it specifically says January on the pages. So you might wanna get this for the upcoming year and start it in January. So you're not kind of like, if you started it in, you know, November of this year, then you're gonna have to start in the back of the planner and then come back after the, the year starts. But, you know, it's just whatever makes the most sense to you. But you have January kind of like stuck at the beginning here. And then you have your weekly spreads. So this is very reminiscent of the week on one page that I really love. And that's why I chose this one to review because you have your boxes down here from Monday through Sunday and a little spot to write the date and then you have a section here to write maybe your big events for that day and then a spot here that you can note like your dinner or your workout and then there's a spot for you know your eight little glasses of water for each day and then up here you have your five priorities a to-do list and then a habit tracker with space for six habits and so your whole week is on the one page and you have two four five of those for each month and then you have a lined notes page and then you go into the next month. So this is where I got confused because I was thinking that maybe this habit tracker thing is at the beginning of each month and this is for all your different habits for the month but it's not so there isn't one in between each month but again I think it's just this is for the whole year of one habit and then here are seven more habits you can kind of pick to disperse throughout the year. So then each month is basically the same. You have your monthly budget and your February visions, and then you go into your monthly spread, and then you go into your weeks. And it's gonna be the same. You have your five weeks and your notes page for every month, and then it'll be the same for the whole year. And then we get to the end, so then we have December, right? 
five weeks and then a notes page. And then after the notes page here, we have a section called creative and it's fun little coloring sheets. So you've got some like sloths, some fruit, like a floral design here and some sunflowers. And then you have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 dot grid pages. So tons of space to just take notes or be creative, draw something out, sketch things out, that kind of thing. And then you have a notes section. So then you have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 notes pages. Well, really 21. And then you have some forward planning with January through December for next year. And then you have how I bloomed. This is kind of like your yearly reflection. So you're gonna write your memorable moments, the books you read, that kind of thing. Um, these are encouragement cards. So this is, it tells you to take this out and cut them out and write a note on the back. And then you can give them to strangers, friends, coworkers, and loved ones to make their day. That would be fun to use in like lunch boxes or something. And then the back coordinates with the front when you cut them out. And then we have a sheet of stickers here and these are, um, they're like shiny kind of coated and there's all kinds of stickers here. We've got some dots, some little checklists that, I mean, you would have to have a Sharpie to check that off, but they're cute. And then um, just different like birthdays and goals and other things, some little planner stickers that say meeting, day off, important, busy day, that kind of thing. And then there's a pocket back here on the back cover. And then you have that frosted cover. So the ultimate planner from Bloom Daily Planners is $29.95, but right now, when I looked at the site today, it says it's $21.95, so 22 bucks. And that's pretty good for this. You could totally make this your own. And I love that it's customizable here, that this cover is customizable. I think that is really cool. I love all the notes pages in the back. Some of the pages, um, wouldn't work for me, but I think they work for most other people, such as the budget tracker the, on the front. I don't really do my budget on paper like this, but I know tons of people do, and so I think that would be really good. And I think it's really cool to have a spot dedicated to your goals for each month so that you can make sure you're checking that as you're making your plans. So I think it's a really fun little planner, and um, I just thought you would like to see it because of this weekly layout and how it kind of matches the layout that we all know and love. So that is gonna be it for this review. Let me know what you think of the Bloom Ultimate Planners and thank you for Bloom for sending this to me to review on my channel. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you really liked it, please consider subscribing because I post functional planning videos on my channel and if you liked this one, you'll probably like those ones too. And I'd love to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.